Kyoto! Ah, it's about time you arrived. Dealing with this child has been quite a pain. No! No, no, don't go! It's useless speaking with you. I need to go back now. Why? Why are you leaving me here? Why am I always left alone? It's so lonely. I don't want to be alone. Naruto-kun. You wear the same face as me. It's as if you're implying we're one and the same. But the difference between me and you is... Why delude yourself? I am you! These childish gestures are no mere affectation. They're the truth! The fools all say it, don't they? You're only a child. Keep out of our business, kid, and so forth! No matter how many cases you spend hours cogitating over, no matter how many crimes you solve, you're a child in their eyes! It's your brain they're interested in, the gray matter locked up in that skull. As long as they need it, you're an ace detective, but once you're done, it's back to the playpen with you. You haven't the means to deal with society's two-faced nature. You're just a lonely child. Naoto. I want to be a grown-up. I want to be a big boy right now. Then they'll see who I am. I... I want a reason for me to stay. That's enough. I can find my own reason for living. Ha! <laughs> I'm telling you that's impossible. You are but a child. How can you change that essential truth? Stop it! At your core, you admire the sort of strong and cool men who populate detective fiction. But in trying to emulate them, you must know that in truth, you're nothing of the sort. You're a child. There's no avoiding first principles. Admit that you're a child, and admit that there's nothing you can do about it! Now then, our analysis is complete. Let us begin the body alteration procedure! You have no objections, do you, Naoto Shiragane? Stop it! Naoto. Such a cool, manly name. But a name doesn't change the truth. It doesn't let you cross the barrier between the sexes. How could you become an ideal man when you were never male to begin with? Wait, what? Did he... did I hear that right? He's not a guy? I won't throw a tantrum. That accomplishes nothing. <laughs> How often I've heard those words from the adults. Throwing a tantrum won't solve anything, now, Tokun, and other such bilge. They made you cry, didn't they? Yet here you are, mimicking those same men. What exactly are you trying to justify? What? It's all right. You needn't suffer anymore. That's why you're undergoing this body alteration procedure to begin with. You throw a tantrum, but it fails to change the situation a single bit. I can quite understand the feeling. After all, I am you. That's not true! Don't say it! It's okay. Let the kids spill the whole thing. If not, Naoto's just gonna keep hurting. We'll just do our job and kick the Shadow's ass, yeah? <laughs> As if you know anything about me! You'll kick my ass, huh? Fine! Go ahead and try, you lizard-brained imbecile! Save the discussion for later! Here it comes! I am a shadow, the true self. What? 
Are you sick of yourselves too? Very well. Then let's begin the special operation. Operation? I hate ouchies. Have you made up your mind? Then let us commence. Persona! Kun was a girl. <sighs> Are you awake? Where am I? I remember you all arriving, and... That's right. You saw everything. <sighs> I lost both my parents in an accident. I was still young. So my grandfather took me in. I was inept at making friends. So I spent my time reading detective novels in my grandfather's study. When I grow up, I'm going to be an awesome hard-boiled detective. My parents were proud of their job. I had no qualms about following in their footsteps. An inherited occupation can feel stifling to many, but I welcomed it. I yearned for the day I could be a detective myself. Perhaps I inherited that desire from them as well. I was always alone. Seeing that, my grandfather must have believed it was his duty to help me realize my dream. I secretly aided my grandfather with his clients. And before I knew it, people started calling me junior detective. At first I was delighted, but not everything went so smoothly. What was that you said about you're only a child? Not everyone welcomes my collaboration when it comes to solving cases. My status as a child was sufficient to offend many of those whom I worked with. Were that the only issue, then it would have resolved itself with time. But though I will one day change from a child to an adult, I will never change from a woman to a man. Do you not like being a girl? Is that why you always dress like a boy? My sex doesn't fit my ideal image of a detective. Besides, the police department is a male-oriented society. 
If they had the slightest concrete reason to look down on me, no one would need me anymore. You don't know that. Hey, you must know already that what you yearn for isn't to become an adult or become a boy. <sighs> You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I kept ignoring you, pretending you didn't exist. But you are me, and I am you. You've always been inside me. What I should yearn for, no, what I must strive for, isn't to become a man. It's to accept myself for who I really am. In any event, you're a devious bunch. I can't believe you kept something like this hidden for so long. <laughs> no wonder the perpetrator has eluded the police. But it's apparent now, this case is far from over. That's right, and you proved it now, Tal. Anyways, we can talk more later. We need to get you out of here. Hey! Hey! Sheesh, she really put her life on the line for this. But without her efforts, we'd never have realized that the culprit is still at large. You're too freaking reckless, damn it. I never doubted that you'd all come for me. Although the reality turned out to be far beyond what I'd imagined. What a dumbass. You're no genius at all. We were tearing our hair out over you. So you did worry about her, Kanji. Oh. Shut up. Mind your own damn business. I'll take her home. I don't think she can go back by herself. It's all right. I can... No way, Missy. Don't think that doing everything on your own is the adult thing to do. Come on, let's go! Grab on! Hey! Welcome back! Uh, sorry, we got off early today. Come on, take a seat. They found Naoto-kun. Oh, uh, do you know who Naoto-kun is? He just up and vanished without a word. But it looks like he's back now. Way to put a scare into everyone. Heesh. Know what? That he's been found? Hmm. Ah... Uh... You really ought to do something about that habit of yours, Dojima-san. They go to the same school. Rumors spread fast out here, you know? But man, why'd Naoto-kun disappear? I guess he can be a little difficult. Maybe he got sulky after being given the boot and ran away from home. But I tell ya, I was shocked to hear that he up and vanished like that. If there'd been a fourth kidnapping and murder, we'd be back to square one again. Adachi... You know what sucks? We still don't have proof that the Kubo Kid murdered anyone besides Mr. Moraoka. How are we gonna make a case like this? I wonder if Dojima-san's instinct is right. Maybe there really is another perp out there. The real one. Adachi, how many times I gotta say it? Quit running your mouth like that! Well, sorry. Alright, see here. Don't worry about the case, just go study like a normal student. If you don't... <sighs> I'm going to bed.
sorry. I killed the mood there. But yeah, I can totally understand why Dojima-san's worried. Just leave the case to us police. You know the problems it could cause if something happened, right? Like, if it happened you were mixed up in it. We'd be real worried. Are more scary things gonna happen? No way, Nanako-chan. Everything's alright now. We caught the bad man, so no more scary things will happen, right? Everything's just fine. Okay. Anyways, your dad's just a worry ward. Leave it to me. You might not know to look at me, but I got the most brains in the whole police department. Oh, was that too hard to understand? Did you get it? Well, now that Dojima-san's gone, I should get going too. Good night. be all right hmm you don't seem surprised you didn't already know he was found did you ah uh... Things will be all right. An athlete? I really don't get it. 